Damon Fordham, author and historian, as well as adjunct professor of history at Charleston Southern University, as well as the Citadel here in Charleston, South Carolina. Now, as we speak, there's a lot of commemoration of the 400th anniversary of the following event that's described among many places in the great George Washington Williams book, History of the Negro Race in America from 1819 to 1880, volume one, where it says that in Jamestown, Virginia, around the end of August, he says here that a that a uh, that August the following, a Dutch man of war, which is a type of ship, landed over 20 Negroes for sale, and that was basically the foundation of the black experience in America, and the ship and uh, some accounts was known as the White Lion. So now the New York Times has published these series of articles about the 400th anniversary and there's a commemoration of that going on in Virginia as we speak during this third week of August 2019. Well, all fine and good. I mean, I'm all in favor of these type of commemorations and people learning the history and so forth, but there's a lot more to it than just that. You see, Prior to 1619, we have to understand what happened before that first. Back, see, in West Africa, you had the Mali and Ghana and the Songhai empires, and the latter of them lasted until the Moroccans, under the leadership of Sultan Masur, destroyed that empire in 1519, 1591, which is on my other YouTube post regarding the transatlantic slave trade. But you should also understand this that long before America was even thought of, there was Prince Henry the Navigator of Portugal who captured, who had these Africans captured off the west coast and brought to Portugal. And Portugal, when they colonized Brazil in the early 1500s, they used African labor for that. And in about 15, early 1500s, when Columbus made his third voyage to the West Indies, there was a Father Bartolomeu de Casas from Spain who was horrified of his treatment of the Native American Indian tribes such as the uh, Arawaks and such and the Daños and he was decided, he proposed that they use African labor instead. In 1527 he saw the error of his of that way of thinking and he wrote a letter where he begged God for forgiveness but by then it was too late. The European powers were making a whole lot of money sending these enslaved African people to the filth to the West Indies, and so you had the transatlantic slave trade beginning along with that. Now, here's mo what most people don't know when it comes to colonial America. Before the British came here, you had the Spanish, and for a time, before a time, the French. And one such very important incident is described in J. Brent Morris' book, Yes, Lord, I Know the Road. And here's and here's something interesting that happened. He talks about how in 1526 there was a settlement in South Carolina known as San Miguel de Guadalupe, all right? And it was settled by a Spanish explorer by the name of Juan Luis Vasquez de Alion. And while they were there, he, uh, he died early in the settlement, and the settlement was taken over by a dictatorial ruler by the name of Inés Doncel. And this Hines Doncel was a very vicious type of guy. And, and so eventually, here's what happened. This is very interesting here. Listen to this. It says here that, and one night they were going to put in effect the bad intention. It happened that some black slaves set fire to Hines' house on their own. And the prisoners were also there, and they all took part to put out burnt, the burning fire. You see, that's the first mention of black slaves coming to or being you know in what is now known as the United States of America this is almost a hundred years prior to the Jamestown settlement and this is and most scholars agree that this is in the area of Georgetown South Carolina now many other historical accounts about this say that these Africans eventually left the Spanish settlement and blended in with the nearby local American local Native American Indian tribes of the region and unfortunately, aside from uh, aside from Doncel and Dialion, 
and a few of the Spaniards, we don't know the names of any of these enslaved Africans that were brought there. But the fact of the matter was that while Virginia, well, what happened in Virginia in 1619 is very important. It's also no, important to know about, the, about what happened near Georgetown, South Carolina in 1526. And the moral of the story is, is that the more you learn, the more you learn that there is to learn. This is Damon Fordham.